We've been planting onions for years in our garden here in South Georgia. But this year we're running a couple weeks behind. We normally like to plant our onions in the 1st of November. And we plant the yellow granite most of the time. But every now and then I like to plant something a little different. I like some red onions too. So this year we, we was going to go buy the plants at the feed and seed store like we normally do. And we got to thinking about how much they cost. They run about seven dollars for 75 plants. If you do the math on there, that's roughly a dime a piece. So it gets fairly expensive buying the plants. And also, the only ones that we can get that's readily available is the yellow granite, which is a popular variety that we really like. But you can't get any red onions. We like to plant a few red onions. So we decided this year we're going to order our seed and plant our plants in the greenhouse and grow them. We'd save a good bit of money because money's tight and we ain't got a lot of money. And also we could plant some varieties that we normally can't get. And that's the great thing about a greenhouse is you can order seed and plant some things that you normally can't get as plants and plus you can save money. So what we're going to do is use these styrofoam trays here and we're going to plant in that. Now the seeds we ordered, we ordered from Burpee. A lot of different places on the internet you can order onion seed from. The uh, yellow granite is a popular variety and it's the same variety that they use to grow Vidalia onions with. This particular onion right here will grow just as sweet in our, in our area as it will in Vidalia and they've always turned out great for us. But this is the same variety they grow up there. Also, we ordered a red creole. Now the red creole is a red onion which adds some different color when you're using it for different things. And it's a little different, it's not a real sweet onion like this right here. If you look in all the descriptions when, they, when they're when describing the red creole, they all say it's got a pungent flavor. Well, pungent is code for it's a little spicy, it's a little hot. So it adds a little different flavor to that. And I don't like these as well as I do the yellow granite, but I do like them and they make a good mix. So we're going to plant some of both of them. We ordered 900 seed of the yellow granite and we ordered 600 seed of the red creole. So I'm going to show you how we do this. We take our pot and soil. And I like the pro mix variety. And we spread out evenly over our styrofoam tray. And just fill it up evenly with your hand. Wipe the excess dirt off there, kind of level it out a little bit. Water it in. This pot mixture here is hard to wet, so I normally water it a few times. Give it about 15-20 minutes to water it again. I got some right here that I had done earlier today and have wet them a few times so they're good and moist. And I'll come in here and just take my finger and make indentions into the pot and soil there. Okay, the yellow granite, we'll plant this one first. There's 450 seeds in there, so they're gonna be enough to plant this since some more left over. Let's 
Boy, my hair kind of getting out of there. Now they're small, but they're not real small. They're bigger than a turnip seed. So I think I can still plant them with my hand instead of using a little cedar. I make sure my hands is dry because if you got any of that moisture on they'll stick. So just take them like that. And I just kind of twist my finger right there till I see one drop out. And every now and then you're going to get two, which ain't no big deal. That's okay. Because you may not have 100% germination or either you can go back and pull that other one up. So it's no big deal if you get more than one in a per plug. So we got our seeds planted and we're going to dust them in or cover them in just a little bit. Take our pot and soil. Get some lumps to kind of break it up. It didn't take a whole lot, but just kind of sprinkle them on top of there a little bit down. After we get the uh, seeds dusted in or covered up, take a water hose and wet it. This has to be done for a couple of times, 15, 20 minutes apart, get it good and wet. Now here's the key to growing plants this time of the year. We've been having lows in the 30s, our highs have been getting up to the 50s and 60s. But what we got here is a germination mat or a propagation mat. <clears throat> and if you put your hand, I've had it plugged up for a couple hours. If you put your hand on it, it really doesn't feel that warm. But if you press down on it, you can feel the heat come through. It's got a thermostat here that you can set. I always set it on 100. And it's got a little probe here that you put in the pot and medium. So we'll set all of our plants on this propagation mat. And this will heat the bottom up and the, the heat will kind of radiate it through the, the tray there. And this helps tremendously with germination. Now this is the one we sell. It's a heavy duty propagation mat with the thermostat. Now if you're wanting a cheap germination mat or propagation mat, you need to go somewhere else. Because we believe in tools and supplies that's gonna last for a number of years. And this heavy duty one will do just that. It's going to last for a few years. We don't have to worry about it, you know, failing in the middle, middle of the winter time because we got confidence in it, of quality, and it's going to last. All right, so there we go. We'll come back in about 15, 20 minutes. We'll top water again. We got a, the varieties marked with our Hall's Garden markers. And hopefully in about four weeks, we're going to have some nice onion plants. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.